Once upon a time, in a small African village of Dangola, there lived a woman named Diaro. Diaro was a very beautiful lady and a good cook, but she had an ugly soul at the back of her left hand that refused to heal. This restricted people from patronizing her. Diaro lived in a town called Danjola. One day, the Duke of Danjola decided to host his fellow dukes and other dignitaries at his daughter's wedding. He needed a cook to prepare food for his guests in hopes of finding the best cook. He sent his chiefs searching far and wide. Although they knew that Diaro was the best in her community and all the neighboring villages, they did not contact her because of the ugly saw at the back of her hand. As the searching continued, the various chiefs recommended different cooks. One of the chiefs recommended Diaro, but other chiefs rejected her. Meanwhile, the wedding was fast approaching and the search for a good cook had not yield, yielded any result. The other arrangements for the wedding were almost concluded and the duke and his wives were getting worried. The chief, the chief who recommended the arrow advised the duke to conduct a contest for the cooks so that he could choose the best of them. The duke took his advice and provided everything it would take to conduct the contest. After the contest, the other was judged to be the best and the winner. The duke accepted the result of the contest and picked the arrow to do the cooking. Though other chiefs were against the duke's decision. But how would the expected dukes and dignitaries from other communities feel when they heard that the cook who prepared the food for the guests of the Duke of Danjola had an ugly sore on the back of her left hand, and worse yet, they had eaten that food. The Duke in his wisdom decided to employ a doctor to treat the cook, but he would not like his guests to see in the dressing of the cook who saw in case there was a need for her to appear publicly. Therefore, he decided to give a praise to the best cook. He invited the award designer and specifically told him to design a praise for the back of the cook's left hand. His intention was to cover the aggressor so that nobody would see it. The designer designed a very beautiful praise for the back of the left hand of the arrow. It was publicly presented to her and she put it on. The dressing on her, on her hand was covered completely. Only the praise could be seen and because it was very beautiful, the crowd burst out into a praise. The king pleaded with the people not to tell anybody who had not known that the cook had a sore, and they obeyed. On the day of the event, the cook prepared the food for the duke and his guests. They all ate and they were happy. Thereafter, each of the guests became, began to invite the cook to prepare food at their events. Throughout her lifetime, nobody who had not known before knew that the arrow had a soul because the people cooperated with the duke and never spoke of it again thank you